One of the things I want to ask you about is I, I didn't watch your season prior to this and you know this, this is no secret, but you know, as you get a part of the journey, whether it's through the bachelor or as the lead, you start to learn so much about different seasons and about different people within the franchise. It's like, you know, in your downtime, you're talking to producers about certain people and you're somebody that would always come up. And what I would always hear is how producers and just other people talking about you, like the other girls who had seen the show, would commend you about the way you handled your season and how you openly would address sexuality and just being a strong woman and embracing that. Why, when you were going through your season, or maybe you just didn't realize it and it's just who you are or who you are, but why did you feel it was so important for you to talk about that? Yeah, it's so funny to me because I think back on that time and, and during it, I remember being confused why it was such a big deal, or why it was like so frowned upon or like celebrated by different people, but mostly frowned upon in, in that time. Um, I was so confused because, you know, you, you surround yourself with people that love you your whole life and who encourage you. And just as long as you're like, you know, happy, doing the right thing, um, they, they support you no matter what. That's who you choose to surround yourself with. You would never choose to surround yourself with people that don't agree with you, don't, don't like you, you know, and then you go on a, a national television show and you're opening up your world to so many people who can either love or hate you. And you're so used to this support system your whole life. Then overnight you've got, you know, whoever, I think they're calling them Karens in, you know, saying, yes, they are. Yeah. Karen saying like, <laughs> how dare you? You're a terrible role model for my daughter and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, whoa, what? This is who I am in a relationship. Um, to me, if I'm picking a, a husband, you, you damn right I'm going to have sex with him. Like, if, especially if it gets to that point where I'm like, that I'm, I've met your family. Um, I, you know, and, and it didn't make sense to me why you would be a frown, why it would be frowned upon either way. If you're a virgin, I didn't understand if people would you know criticize you for that if you're having sex and oh no it was before the fantasy suite because that's where we draw the line apparently it's like th these people have so many opinions and it, it just confused me because I wasn't used to um, feeling shame around my decisions in a relationship so it did confuse me and then I just saw the amount of women that came forward saying thank you and that meant more to me than, you know, these people who didn't understand me. Um, so I just was like, wow, I see the power in my voice and using it and standing up for who I am. And that's somebody that I've always tried to be is just authentic. And um, I just knew I would lose myself if I tried to people please. And it's just not who I am. So I just, I had to have the mindset that like people are going to me or hate me if I do to myself longevity success will come whether that's relationships brand deals different opportunities like no matter what it is if you're if you're just who you are you'll have better success in life